Warning, the following contains content intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. And there's the morning chime. Now, I know you're probably wondering why I'm in the middle of the forest. It's not because I died. <laughs> Don't panic. It's fine. It just, I ran out of time while I was doing shit off camera. Um, there's a, that's not a thing. Ooh, lead. Neat. Um, anyways, welcome back, peeps, to 7 Days to Die with me, your host, Zod19. Uh, I'm just kind of wandering around out here looking for stone because yesterday I found the crucible schematic and I kind of need a lot of fucking stone. Uh, 1200 stone to be exact to um, make use of that and fuck me if I cannot find stone at all so I might just have to dig a mine I really don't want to have to dig down in the middle of the woods to get uh, resources but I think that's just gonna have to be the way how it goes but uh, yeah I'm just kinda kinda hanging out Doing stuff. Being a badass. There we go. I could have swore I had like a Rockbusters candy at some point, but apparently I used it or I never had one to begin with. I don't know. Do I have coffee? I do have coffee. <gasps> it is son of a bitch. I'm gonna scrap the other coffee because I'm an idiot. It's early in the morning. It's like super early. It's like 6 a.m. my time. Which, generally, I would not be awake right now. But, um... Today I'm feeling, uh, feisty. Come on. Come on. I would love an auger. Twelve hundred and one. I should probably pick up like some extra stone, uh, just in case. Let's go for a couple extra hundred stone. Uh, that's probably enough. All right, let's come out of here and go home. I'm a pretty good distance away from home. Ah, there's a fucking boulder. I looked everywhere for boulders, but when it's dark outside, it's real hard to fucking see anything. Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's go pick that up real quick. Ah! Ah! Douche. I even looked right at the barbed wire and still jumped into it. Like a numpty. Alright. Let's get in here. Let's get this crucible started. And then we will jump on the bike. And do some stuff for the day. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to save the, the sellables that I've got up here for day 13 did you hear that okay I'm just gonna gonna keep going pretend like I didn't just hear a landmine go off um, let's see should be yeah nice okay crucible going to take four minutes. That's totally okay. Used up a lot of my fucking resources. Alright. Uh, what do I got? I've got some stuff left over that I should probably sell. 
Uh, I want to keep... Come on. Like 50 of those. Take those out. Uh, I'm going to keep the pistol parts. Uh, I need the headlights for the 4x4 eventually. Although I could obviously get more in the future if I need to. Uh, Gunpowder. I'm going to keep in here. The sand I should probably smelt down soon. That's fine. Food, medicine. Put that in. That in there. I've got bones on me for some reason. All right. Okay. So, what am I gonna do today? Where am I gonna go today? I've got a couple of pieces of duct tape, right? I've got one. Well, let's go grab another forged iron over here. I'm smelting down a lot of iron in the furnace right now because of the crucible. So I want a repair kit. Just one more, please. Thank you. All right. Not that way. This way. Do you know that way? Let's close the door behind me because I'm not a savage. Oh, I didn't rotate the bike around. It's fine. Let's just pull right out. Hop off that this door. Let's rotate around. Let's go somewhere for today. So, what place should I hit up today? I broke down all of Town Hall yesterday. So, let's do whatever this building is. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Why is there no road that connects? I should probably just go to the south. Yeah, let's go this way, and then I'll take whatever road off to the east that I find that connects to the road over there. JW. Ah, oh, yeah, it's that house. It's the mushroom house. So back, there's a couple of factories over here. Jericho Ranch. There's a factory remnant. There's a passing gas refinery right there. JD Shipping. There's an underpass. I wonder how loud the bike is. It doesn't feel very loud to me. What do you got in you? A duct tape. That's actually fine. That's totally fine. Okay. I want to get to that place. Of pharmacy? Huh. Ah, it's the popping pills. That's right there. I've been in there. You can tell from the broken down wall. There's a clock tower. Let's see, does this vending machine work? I have very little money, right? Yeah. Do you work? You don't work. Let's break you down for the extra steel. I don't really need to go scavenging for steel anymore. It's just nice to... Ooh, a crack book headquarters. Ooh, that's really nice. Have I marked that on my map? I have not. Save waypoint right here. Crack uh, HQ. All right. I'll hit that up. Not today, but uh, on a different day. And I've already picked my uh, spot for today. So, how the fuck do I get over to it? Oh my. Oh, it's way away. Oh, okay. I'm like way over on the wrong side of the fucking town. There's a police station, which would have bullets and stuff. A uh, 
little vendor. Ooh. Bookshelf. With nothing important inside. Why am I surprised? Alright. Is that a equipment rack? It is. That's funny. Alright. There's a hardware store. Uh, Navis Game Creamery. A bus. What would be the best way to get to the thing? It would just be to keep going up until I find the main road. I would like to get to a uh, savage country, and I think I'm going to a savage country right now. There's the standalone poppin' pills. I can't believe I drove past it so many fucking times. Is that the shotgun messiah? That is a shotgun messiah. I don't know if I've hit it up yet, so... Save waypoint. This. Shot. Shotty. Alright, and then Mose Electronics is back there, which would be this building, I think. Yeah. Save waypoint. Uh, Mose Electronics. Mose Electronics. Alright. Gonna go this way. Is this a cracker book that I've marked? Or is it on the other side of the cracker book? So I'm pretty sure I marked that cracker book. Oh, this one's a Mose Electronics too. What the heck? Could have swore this was the savage country that I was heading towards. There's a cracker book. Ah, fuck it. I'll go in the Mose. I do eventually want to get a robotic drone for the extra uh, inventory stuff. All right, there's a whole lot of dead bodies here. Let's break some stuff down outside and make a chest. So, chest, obscure chest. Craft one. Probably not going to give me all that much, but just in case, I get a whole lot of extra goobly gobs. Uh, speaking of which, no, get off the bike. I want an eye candy and a sugar butt. Not a sugar butts. Why would I want the sugar butts? I do have rock busters, motherfucker. Anyways. I swore I had more hacker candy than that. Uh, than, you know, zero, but I guess I don't. Take the iron pipe. I'll take the sand too, I suppose. Is there. There are street lights. I don't really feel like going out of my way to break them down. Stab them all like their ex-girlfriend. All right. There's a computer there. I'm gonna have to right-click these. It's just mechanical parts and iron. Cash register. Scanner. Cash register. Scanner. There's a slot there. Not that it works. Pick up the office chair. Huh. I'm feeling rather relaxed today. There's not a lot that uh, is on my mind. Just kind of hanging out, enjoying seven days. Having a gay old time, I suppose. All right. Which lets me know that something unconditionably horrible is about to happen. But I'm ready for that, I think. Do really? Two? Uh, a schematic for switches use. And a fucking 
tech junkie book use. Remember my, uh, I know I only mentioned this like once, like on episode one or two, but the rule is that I've got to read every book that I encounter at least one time. So I'm going to break into this safe. I'll well, we'll see y'all in a second. And I'm back. All right. Nothing in it. So glad I took the 10 seconds it took to break into that. It's really not that much time left anymore to, to... Ah, it's part of the shelf. Okay. I was like, Scusi, pardon me, Guti me froggen. That looks like a, a fucking computer, but no. It's part of the shelf. Empty, empty, empty. So much empty, not much time. Wow, there's like a ton of lights too. Would help if I could hit them. Can I just hit you normally? Yes, I can. Awesome. Let's divide the store in half. I'm gonna do this half right now. And I'm hungry already. Really? Ah, uh, because I, again, did not eat anything during the night. That's a bad habit, both in real life and in the game. I should be eating more often. Well, that's how physics works. I should probably... let's raid all the shelves first and then deal with the lights and stuff. Gotta pretend to be some sort of methodical about this. I think I used up all my luck uh, with that box because I think I'm not going to get anything, period, for like the rest of the store. You, yeah, that counts as one thing. Excuse me? Okay. A couple of iron. I think. No. No. Yeah. It totally counts as. Yeah. Ah, that's part of the shelf. Okay. So, some of it's real stuff, some of it's not. Okay. I love how I get to break down a TV in two halves. Instead of it just being one solid thing. It is a big TV, I suppose. Oh, a couple of electric wire relays. Interesting. It'd be more interesting if I even had a plan to uh, use electricity at my base anytime soon. Okay, I think I did half of the thing. Oops. Break that down. All right. Let's keep moving around and breaking stuff down. I'm just kind of hanging out, having a good morning. It's all good. Had a, a an interesting night trying to sleep last night. I uh, hoped that I could have fallen asleep a little easier, but uh, it's not how that worked out. Sometimes I pass out real easy, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes I don't sleep at all. Today was one of those days. While I did sleep, I had weird dreams. And then uh, I got up early to have coffee with the wife because I just did not feel like being asleep anymore. Or trying to sleep anymore, I suppose would be the more proper way to say that. Yeah, I'll go around and do the uh, the lights last. Just to get everything up off the floor. 
We've almost checked every uh, shelf that there is. Come on, game. Don't freak out on me yet. <laughs> it's way too early in the morning for you to be breaking. All right. So this is the employee break room. There we go. Three skill points, finally. Gonna dump those into genius. You're now getting pretty smart. Or, no, you're now a true genius. Eh. Those stats, like, deal nothing for me. Do nothing for me. Now I've got to invest the next four points into these to get all of the recipes for that unlocked, and then I can finally invest in other shit like better barter and uh, daring adventurer reminds me I probably don't need to do a uh, quest for a while let's see are you separate you are not separate wait wow what oh yeah that's one of the new blocks still <laughs> spoiled spoiled it uh, startled me a little Okay, well, there's no lights in here either. Huh. Hum de dum dum dum. Alright. So let's break down the lights, I guess. That's really the only thing left to do here. Come on. There we go. And then that one. And then. Excuse me. Thank you. That one. And that one. I missed one. There we go. Why did my phone buzz? Is that the wife telling me she made it to work? I'm right here at my desk. Joy! Oh. At least you made it safe. There we go. Alright. I'm so professional. Don't mind me while I professionalism all over you. Mm, yeah. Professional me, daddy? Something like that? Yeah. There we go. Come on. There we go. Any more lights along the edges? No, it's just these big ceiling ones. So all the traders restock tomorrow, so we're going to jump on the motorcycle tomorrow and drive around. We're going to sell all the gubs that I picked up yesterday and today. Um, ooh. Which should get me a decent amount of money, which is will also translate into a decent amount of... Uh, ooh, there's a Moe's Electronics. Uh, crate. Let's get up there and get that open. Don't let me down. Yes, son of a bitch. Tech Junkie 7 Hydraulics. I mean, sure. I don't really need it to fire faster. It's here. Not or not working. Oop. And repair. All right. So medicine cabinet, bandage. Oh. Jesus. Fucking floor lights. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to jump here and then jump here and no well all right then uh nice scrap that for the spare lead scrap that for the clay soil take the rest of that and get out of here that was the men's bathroom right yeah let's go in the women's bathroom there's a dead dude in here let me just stab you in the face like your ex-girlfriend
medicine? Eh. Alright, well. Oop. Oh, I totally forgot about the lights. So. Probably gonna have to go back in there and look for a. Uh... Ah, dick! You douchebags! Let's see. Any lights? No. How are people supposed to see in these rooms? I guess they're not. Alright, well that's that one. That shows a hidden wall. Back there. Which looks like it has the main loot in it. There's a door right there. I've already been over there. I've been in there. I have not gone this way. Which might be the way to go. You just stab you in the titties like your ex-boyfriend. Uh, let's pick up the cobblestone. Ah, there's a zombie hiding spot. That one too? Yeah. And that one too. Probably should have broke those down with something else. There's a light there, which is locked. Should I... yeah. That leads outside. This is probably the loading dock. There's so many zombie spawning spots back here. I'd be super uncomfortable if I was having to do this uh, with zombies on. I'm still trying to decide if I like, if I want to just go ahead and start the next series uh, and have it run in conjunction with this one. That would very heavily lean me towards being a seven days to die content creator uh, if I go really heavy into it well, look at that ah the main stash nice okay I'll come back for that I want to break down the lights first and then, excuse me thank you thank you all right Let's grab the cobblestone. Any more blue stuff? No? Okay. And then of course... Oh! It's not a zombie spawning spot. Okay, so let's pop these open real quick. And then use the looting candy, I suppose. Eye candy! Hi, candy. All right. What do you got for me? Uh, chemistry station schematic. I think that's the third one I've gotten. What do you have? One steel tool part. Ah, that reminds me. I was going to talk about that. I realized that if I want to get some steel tool parts, I could totally buy steel tools and scrap them for steel tool parts. Uh, that is a thing that I could do. Some crossbow bolts. What do you got for me? Just paper. Uh, I already opened that safe that was in the front. A couple of rocket launcher parts. That's not so bad. Are you real? Yes. Awesome. There's that. And I think I'm done. Oop. Oh, almost missed you. Uh, shotgun parts and steel club parts. Jeez. Alright. Now I'm done. Very cool. Very interesting. Liked this place a lot. Let's get out of here now. That was a hell of a uh, adventure. I still remember the Higashi Pharmaceutical raid. That was a heck of a thing. I didn't end up needing this chest. Did I get everything out of it? I did. Well, let's look for 
a uh, a savage country building because I, I really want to get let's check this vending machine and see if it works if it doesn't I'll break it down because I really only want yeah visible only uh, want working vending machines to be visible when I'm driving around town um, otherwise it gets confusing as to what I can and can't use that is a working stiff tools crate uh, thing Zoe salon I saw purple that's burr ice cream should I go into the working stiffs yeah I kind of want to have I been in here before or is it just yeah it's taking its sweet ass time to load I feel like I've been here before have I been here before no might have been a different playthrough that I've been here but anyways let's make a chest and stick it here I guess um, chest there we are put it right there and then I want to stick everything that I don't technically need right now into it oops scrap those scrap those I got 521 electrical parts out of Mose Electronics. That's kind of nuts. All right. Level 1 hunting knife. What's your damage? 6.2. And what's this one? Uh, 7.1. The fact that I'm finding hunting knives, which is technically tier 1 gear, is finally is a great thing. Uh, but this is actually weaker than what I'm using, so I'm scrapping it. It's not that much weaker than what I was using, but it's just weak enough that uh, the different uh, the difference in mod slots is unacceptable. Okay. Oh my. Alright, let's get around the front and finally go inside the building. I know there's bags of cement lying around, I just do not feel like dealing with them. Well, let's not go inside the building because I've got vehicles to break down. Outside the building. Uh, what else to talk about? Uh, Uh, come on, brain, keep up. I I know something's called a name. Use it. You got this. You can do it. Um, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 is uh, out and about and doing a thing. That's cool. Uh, I played a lot of uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Uh, hell of a lot of fun. Uh, laggy as all get out, but I'm hoping that 2021 fixed a lot of that because 2018 was like the first big simulator game that that particular company had done. So 2021 should be better. 
not just in terms of like the various things that they have that's nice but also the uh, the lag the lag was really bad the lag was so bad that I could not record any of the any of the game even though I really wanted to I really really wanted to tool sale ah there's a light I was like where are all the lights and I was looking right at one goes to show how blind I am. These are just like one mechanical part and some iron a piece. Not really worth breaking down, but I'm going to anyways. Just because I want to. Put the gas in here and sort that. I want to take one of these eye candies so that when I find the actual fucking uh, main loot, I can do something about it. All right, let's check all of the shelves first. A motor tool part, that's always really nice. Two cloth rags. Let's check all of the outside first. Get that out of my way. Some nails. I'm mostly looking for steel tool parts or the impact driver schematic, which I don't know when I can find the impact driver schematic, but I really want it. Some nails. A whole lot of toilets. A whole lot of chances at finding a toilet pistol. I mean, I could eat the looting candy to, like, increase that chance, but why? Why, though? Why would I ever do that for toilets? It's not like you can find shit in them. Now, these are worth brass, because they're yellowy, and then these are worth iron, because they're silver. Uh, what about you? Can I break you down normally? I cannot. If I break you with a pick... I get the actual item when I break it down for a pick. So if I do scrap, get iron. So I should get iron out of them uh, when smelting them. So I guess I'll take them. Like, I'm not hurting for iron. I'm hurting for steel. I'll come to the back end of the store in a minute. Okay out of my way. Nails. Nails are fine. I really should make more storage chests. Let's get this door open. Open you. Take you. Check you. Just some cloth. Let's hit you, but not open you yet. Uh, because there is a box right above this that I'm going to be using uh, the looting candy on to get into and then I'm going to come down here and get this one. I think the main stash is like on the roof of this building but I'm not sure. Since I'm on this side I'll check this side of the store first. There's not a lot going on. Like this working stiffs. Some lock picks. It, it kind of baffles me that um, a working stiffs tool uh, shop is a great location to find lockpicks, but it really shouldn't surprise me. I mean, where else would you go to get lockpicks legally? A hardware store. The only reason why you would need it is if you locked yourself out of something and you didn't want to pay somebody to unlock it for you. A locksmith. People have this DIY mindset that makes it so that they would rather do something and fuck it up themselves than pay somebody to do it for them. And because of that, uh, paying people to do shit for them is getting more and more expensive. 
because there's fewer and fewer people actually wanting to pay people to do shit for them. So, when the uh, demand is low and the supply is high, it should be that the prices are cheaper. However, that's not how it works in capitalism. Everybody's got to make some money and uh, make a living. And if they can't sell their services, well, they can't make a living. And if they can't make a living, they can't sell their services anymore. So that's how you see uh, trades just kind of die out. Is uh, a lack of demand means that uh, prices go up. And because prices are going up, there's an even bigger lack of demand. Uh, so the supply starts to dwindle. Because why supply a, uh, a service that no one wants to pay for? But that's also the, uh, the problem with schools nowadays. They teach you, oh, there's not a lot of people in this job, so, you know, you gotta go and do that job so that you can, uh, make a whole bunch of money because there's no one else doing it so you can do it and make a whole bunch of money doing that that's not how it works unfortunately maybe it worked that way a long time ago but it doesn't work that way anymore life isn't that kind I think I'm in the women's bathroom again nobody panic it's fine can I get... no. I don't need more glass shards. I have almost 300 at home. And all they're good for is melting down for sand or making scopes. And I don't need to do that. I don't need to make scopes. It's just not on my uh, to-do list. I mean, if I was finding more weapons... I would want to. Alright, Wasteland Treasures. Don't fail me now. Yeah, I got an acid. Fuck yeah. That's how you do. Alright. I think... I'm pretty sure... On the other side was a... Uh, was like an employee break room. Ooh. Ooh. This is a trash compactor. Oh, that's fine. I'm probably going to get a lot of uh, cans. No? Okay. I was going to say, I'm probably going to get a lot of cans, so it won't matter if I uh, don't scrap them immediately. But uh, look at the game. Prove me wrong. All right, break down the dolly. This is where I wanted to go next. Coffee grounds. Uh, a sink with lead weights. Okay, and then break down the old chairs for wood. Just keep my wood supply up. You know how it is these days. Ho ho ho. Gotta keep hard wood. Do I need an empty glass jar? I'm gonna take it. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna take it anyways. What do you got for me? Nothing. Get some plastic parts out of that. Some scrap polymer, whatever it's called. Alright, and there's one, two, three. Four, five, six working stiff tool crate boxes. And then the looting candy is like four minutes. So. Okay, I can reach that from down here. So I don't need to nerd pull my way up to it. Come on. Bastard. 
Okay. So. I guess I'm going to use the eye candy right now and start looking for stuff. Steal two parts? Yeah, two of them. Nice. Now, I have decided that I'm not going to make a ratchet until I can make a level 5 ratchet uh, an anvil, which is good for iron because I already have two chests. Or two, uh, wow. Fuck, brain, come on. You got this. Y you can do it. Uh, I've got two anvils in my uh, forges. Open this one. Get two more. That puts me at five. And then I have like one at home, I think. I don't need that paintbrush. I already have a working paintbrush. All right. We got to go back up to the front and check that working stiff tool crate that was in the... Uh, the little office that's over here. This one. Motor tool parts. That's fine. Now we go out the back and up the ladder. Come on. Come on. Alright. Is there lights in here? Did I get them all? I think I got most of them. Okay, up we go. Come on, game. Work with me. Thank you. Oh, that was dumb. Up we go. Come out here. And then... Break that. For parts, I guess? Rather than a radiator? That's a little irritating. Up you. Up you, up you, up you. Not much loot out of that. Alright. Need to go up quickly. I don't know who in their right minds would ever store stuff on the roof of a building. It is literally the worst place to store things. Are you one or two? You are one. That's where I need to go. Hello, cream. Let me stab you in the neck like your ex-girlfriend. Not that. Really slowed down. Oop. Toolbox. Uh, for a pipe and some oil. Uh, scrap. Scr I can't scrap you? What? They don't just let you scrap these anymore in your inventory? It makes sense, and I get why they would not allow you to do that. But still, come on, man. I got shit I need to do. If I can scrap a spring in my inventory, I can fucking spra uh, scrap a 150-pound uh, anvil. Not looking for realism, game. I'll take that. And then the food nothing in it that was expected I would love to just pick that up and carry it with me but I don't think I'm going to be able to unless I do what I just did all right so that's that done before my looting candy runners out wears out I'm going to uh, run along here now if I go left from here very, very carefully make my way all the way back here I can get this ammo pile, which is full of brass that I don't technically need. Uh, shit. Do I have scrap lead? I do have scrap lead. Alright. Let's make our way back. Ah, motherfucker. Alright, fine. You want to do it that way? We'll do it that way. right here all right I'm gonna beat into this chest real quick be right back last swing no there we go get into it before it runs out 
Ah, uh, ah, oh, that's so good. Okay, um, take what I can, which is not a lot, and then throw a couple of things in here first. Take out these extra things. I got a treasure map. Let's read that. Dear friend, if you got this note, I'm probably dead or even worse. I will find your treasure. 1.2 kilometers away. And then I got an insulated liner mod. Uh, which I think I can only put on armor. So. I'll do that. And then. I really want these. What can I drop? I don't need paper. It's raining outside. But alright. That is the whole of this place. Done. There's nothing else to get. Is this? No. Okay. This is just my headlamp. Alright. So that's it for today. I'm going to jump on the bike and I'm going to go home. Uh, and tomorrow we'll go check out that uh, treasure map. Come on, game. There we go. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you all for watching, peeps. If you liked the video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, your host, Sun19, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.